Okay. Now, like I said, I just want to, uh, I have one book here. Uh, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, T. Harv Ecker. Okay. Uh, we have a uh, well-known, uh, we have Think and Grow Rich, written by Napoleon Hill. Uh, a book written by uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, written by Robert Kiyosaki. And there are others out there that you could, that you can look at. But the po the rich do things different. They have a different mindset. Okay. They have a different set of priorities. Okay. The rich, pay yourself first. You know, when you're poor, or people want to go out and uh, spend the first thing and party and all that. Nothing wrong with that, but you got to have things in the right order. The rich, you know, make their money. When you're poor, you have to work for your money. When you're rich, your money works for you. Okay? So, so you no, know, we don't learn about money in schools and society. You know, we come up thinking a certain way. No, nothing wrong with getting a college degree or um, nothing wrong with, with that for something that you might want to do. But there, there are some, you know, some ways that are better ways and practices and means of thinking that are certainly maybe be more, maybe more advantageous to you that if you knew, if you knew better, you would do, you would do differently, have done differently. How many people have student loan debts out there so you have doctors lawyers teachers a bunch of people out there and you know you're in your 40s 50s still paying off student loan debt um or maybe if you went to school and spent thousands of dollars and you're not in the area that you majored in and and you still you know one okay i can't find a job in in this and you no know, people told me to you know, go to high school get a diploma and get this college degree and and do this, and that's the way to go. Okay, but get a financial education. I'm not a financial advisor; just someone who's lived through um, hard time. Or no, I'm not gonna say I've had the hard of hardest time of anybody out there. I just know my experiences. I did you know. Hey, I've been time when hey, no job, and you know, kind of trying to figure out. Okay, how we gonna? Uh, do this thing. What was it? What's the best way? How are we gonna get money in? Or um, what's the best route to go? Uh, it's got to be something be a better way. So if you're thinking along that, if you ever thought, man, if I could just do something better, you know, you know, there's a, you know, maybe a means of freedom to enable you to do what you would really love to do. So I want to encourage you to. You know, if you don't feel like you're free, you know, if you want freedom, give it a thought. And as you can see, you know, I have carrot bars here behind me. And carrot bars, I believe, is a vehicle for freedom. So it's not, it's not about, uh, to me, it's not about, you know, just making money. It's just that, to me, the way I'm looking at it, money is... Uh, is a means to freedom, the freedom to do, you know, some, you know, the kind of things I would really want to do that if I had the choice and didn't have to just get up and uh, punch a clock and, you know, do all, spend all my time and efforts on some things that I don't feel that maybe are just the most beneficial or I'm thinking, you no, know, I could be spending my time in a better, more productive way. Um, so that's what carrot. That's what I'm advising you uh, to consider, take a look at, in order to gain freedom for yourself and for your family. You know, it said also says in the word that you know, you know, a good man no leaves a inheritance for his children. So if you want, you know, want to kind of put some things in place for your children, for your grandchildren. You know, we don't want to. Nobody wants to see their family suffering and struggling unnecessarily um, having to go through unnecessary struggling and hardship you want to provide a means for them that can keep on uh, uh, making a pr provision for them so I'm like I said at the very beginning now I've touched on a few things and I'll be hey I'll be going on a um, lot more detail about some other things 
and uh, some of you may see uh, you may see uh, my, you see my, my wife's videos out there and you'll be seeing more from me and we just want to see people free that's the whole point you know we're you know, we're going to be fine we're going to be fine so we don't want anybody thinking that you know we don't want anything from you we're trying to share something with people that we believe there's going to be a benefit to whoever gets involved, who takes advantage of it. And I want to say, you know, you, know, you don't always have time to wait. Yeah, you want to look into things and give it thought, but you don't want to wait too long either. If you snooze, you lose, you know. Opportunity won't always be there, but excuses will. Let that sink in, so... Um, you can miss a blessing, you know, when, when the world time waits for no man. So it's it's good to it's good to think and give things thought, but don't just let that be the main thing. Don't let fear, you know. A lot of time people don't get involved with things because of well, it's unfamiliar to them and they're fearful. And it's good to be, you no, know, you don't want to be a, a sucker. You don't want to get sucked into any and everything. You want to give it some thought, but look, use your own sense. Uh, think about think about things and think about what's right for you. You know, some people are naysayers, and just because they they didn't do it or unfamiliar with it, they just before they even hear it out a matter. You know, it says in the word, you know, you know, hear out a matter before you decide. You know, don't be one of those that first two words. Let me, uh, I want to share, and you just cut it off. You know, you don't even know what's going to be said or of giving yourself the a chance to ask questions. You know, hear out a matter. Okay. So, carrot bars. Okay, it's, you know, it's a system of uh, save and go because money, the value of money has gone down consistently since 19, the va uh, this one right here has gone down, but gold has not. Okay, so gold has kept the value of gold. It's not gonna, you know, chances are it's the, the value of gold, you, you're better off uh, trusting the value of gold than, than the, uh, and excuse me, y'all. Let me, um, this way. You know, you know, this one gram of gold, okay, one dollar. And one other thing I was going to throw in that, you no, know, an example, and you can look this up and uh, look this up for yourself. Now, let's say, for example, if you had, let's say, a 1919, if you wanted to buy a a vehicle or 1,000 uh, grams, a kilogram of gold could buy you a new vehicle, okay, at $645. Now, will $645 get you a vehicle now? If it does, I don't think it's going anywhere. Okay, now, that same kilogram at today's gold price, you can buy a vehicle, let's say, you can buy a vehicle with that same kilogram and have change left over. Okay, in 2019. So as of the price of a kilogram, 1919, about uh, for, uh, 645, and now it's about it would be about a kilogram, about uh, 65,000. Okay, so I believe so you're gonna have some change left over. So so the whole point of this program is to save your money in gold because gold keeps its value. You know, I, I'm going. You no, know, I'll be back and talking with you about other examples and getting in more into detail. I've just barely scratched the surface. This is just to uh, introduce it to you and get your attention and share with you right quick. And and uh, I thank you for your time. And I should have a link below. And uh, thank you for your time.